Remember the movie The Heist? Danny DeVito says, Everybody needs money. That's why they call it money. Well, this case demonstrates it's not just about the money. I'm Andre Menkov, the founder of Trademark Factory, and in this video I'm going to share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw-up. This time around, it's Hells Angels suing a t-shirt company for trademark infringement. Let me start by reading from the article, and you can always find the link in the description below. Hells Angels in trademark fight with online store. The Hells Angels are fighting to restrict what a t-shirt website can sell after being awarded nominal damages following a years-long legal battle over copyright and trademark infringement. Lawyers for the Australian arm of the bikey organization and website Redbubble which sells user-submitted artwork on items like t-shirts and coffee mugs, appeared in federal court in Brisbane on Monday. The bike organization has been locked in a legal battle with the website since 2015 when the Hells Angels took Redbubble to court over a number of t-shirts advertised on the site. So. The, uh, the website allows people to submit their content. It's like Zazzle, basically the Australian version of Zazzle, right? People submit their own designs, anybody can find them, anybody can buy them, and some of those designs, in this case, had something to do with Hells Angels. All right, so let's keep going. The Hells Angels claimed the designs, some of which included their Flying Skull logo, breached copyright and infringed on their trademark. In March, a judge found their copyright case had failed. However, and it probably failed because, again, I haven't read the case, but my assumption is copyright is very different from trademarks. Copyright is all about the content and uh, about how you express that. Uh, so ideas similar to what you created are not a copyright infringement. Uh, but it could still be a trademark infringement if they infringed the logo uh, for t-shirts. So very different kind of stuff, right? As long as you create your own version of a work of, uh, you know, some skulls and uh, put them on a t-shirt, that's not copyright infringement because that's not an unauthorized reproduction or alteration. Uh, but it could still amount to trademark infringement, which is why it's so important for you to know the difference between the different types of intellectual property and know what protects what. And by the way, uh, there's a video that I shot on this very uh, question uh, that you should probably watch. So find it, I will put it in the card and we'll put it in the description uh, and watch that video about the difference between copyright, trademarks, patents, industrial designs, know-how, and all those things. So, going back. However, a trademark infringement claim was made out for a number of t-shirt designs advertised on the site. Just like I said, uh, the highest selling t-shirt that included the designs sold just two units, while one example featuring a design did not sell according to the judgment. So. Again, yeah, you put the design, somebody might buy it, uh, and uh, usually the numbers are very small. So, the Hells Angels were awarded $5,000 in nominal damages. So there was infringement by you putting out those designs, by you making them available for sale, you are committing trademark infringement. Uh, but when it comes to giving you the number of how much you should pay, if there is really the, the nominal infringement, you usually get nominal award, right? Nominal amount. And in this case, that was $5,000. On Monday, lawyers for the Hells Angels told the court they were seeking an injunction on the sale of items related to their trademarks. And lawyers for Redbubble said the site errs strongly on the side of caution when removing material that could infringe on trademarks or copyright. The case adjourned on Monday, for the judge to consider submissions made. Now, this is really important. So they got, the Hells Angels got 
the nominal amount, $5,000, to said these guys infringed. And now they say, well, great, thank you for $5,000, but there's something else we'd like you to do. And that is for you to make an order so that the website has to not sell our t-shirts anymore and do some other things to prevent the infringement from happening in the future. And uh, uh, there's really two things about it, right? It's probably easy for them to get a, uh, an order uh, that would prevent the website from selling the specific designs that are already there uh, and say, okay, these shirts may no longer be offered through uh, the website. The problem happens with uh, creating an order for any designs of anything that has to do with Hells Angels because this is a user-generated uh, content. How would the website make sure that nobody else sends their own content uh, that has something to do with Hells Angels uh, or maybe even similar, maybe remotely similar? How do you get an order for that? That's a totally different matter. And uh, that will be interesting to see how this ends up. And usually, uh, you know, when, with news like that, uh, a lot of people want to support the website. Something that I expect was going to happen is that it's going to be flooded with more content that has something to do with Hells Angels and people trying to circumvent the uh, restrictions. And uh, this could actually hurt the website quite a bit. So we're going to see uh, what measures uh, the website is going to be required to take and what measures they're actually going to take to make sure they don't run into problems. So they say, you know, they err strongly on the side of caution, which basically means is that they will not remove user-generated content unless uh, a court tells them to or unless it's a blatant infringement. And uh, this might change with this injunction that uh, is being requested from the court. Like I said, we'll see where this is gonna go. Uh, if you found this useful, subscribe. If you got a brand you wanna protect, well, guess what I'm gonna tell you to do? Go and protect it. And if you're wondering where and how, then just go to trademarkfactory.com and book a free call with our strategy advisors and I'll help you and tell you exactly what to do. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.